Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, Moon in Cancer. All right, so if your moon is in Cancer, this video is for you. You can apply this. If it does not apply, do not try to make it apply. Uh, I don't know why I have to say that. Y'all are grown. Y'all should already know that. So, for some reason, I feel like I have to address the fact that y'all don't need to get in the comment section acting stupid because either you're going to get blocked or I'm going to comment back. You may not like my comment when I say back. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. Y'all go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and share with your family and your friends. We're going to see what's coming. What's coming for Pisces Moon? I'm sorry, not Pisces Moon. Cancer Moon. I just did uh, Pisces Moon. Cancer Moon. Okay. So, let's get a good shuffle in. Pisces Moon. I mean, sorry, Cancer Moon. I don't know why I keep saying that. Why do I? All right, let's go. I got Meditate and Contemplate. Meditate and Contemplate. Y'all might be getting elevated. Y'all been smoking. <laughs> Y'all been chilling. I'm getting that like, y'all are in a very contemplative state. Then we got be bold and make the first move. Oh, wow. So y'all chilling. Y'all meditating on y'all next move. That's what it sounds like. Because y'all got a vision. We got hold your vision. You got a vision. Okay, so you're contemplating. You're looking at the bigger picture. You're looking at the bigger picture and you're meditating on your next move. All right, all right. Give me another card. Cancer move. All right, a time for healing. Don't let your pride get in your way. That's at the bottom of the deck. Don't let your pride get in the way. I'm getting lots of fire energy. But with the this kind of reminds me of four swords energy. You know, where you're kind of like just in a chill mode. You're kind of like in a meditative state. Some of y'all, y'all might be smoking a lot um, to help you get into, into meditation. Get into your meditative state. Um, thinking about your next move, making your next move your best move. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, so with this energy, this is more relaxed energy, and this energy is more take action. So I really feel like you guys are thinking of, of a move, your next move. Thinking about your best move, making your next move your best move. And then... Y'all gonna sit back and chill. I'm getting like y'all sitting back chilling. A time for healing. Like I feel like y'all been sitting back chilling. This is past energy and this is future energy. This is present energy. Presently, you're moving, you're in a contemplative state and contemplating your next action. But in the past, you were healing. You was taking some time to heal. These two cards together is somebody that's like big chilling <laughs> like somebody that's relaxed and calm and not doing too much but then we got your future energy taking action being bold being bold and making the first move What messages is there for Cancer Moon? Mm. 
we got vision and for and movement see intuitively this is you guys' energy anyway this is the high priestess which is pisces's energy no i'm doing moon and cancer oh i don't got crossed this is pisces and cancer's energy high priestess and then it's like you're letting your intuition guide you to where you need to be and then look what's on the bottom of that see we got movement and we got meditation it's like y'all letting spirit guide y'all look at this vision movement it's like you're letting your intuition guide y'all y'all being guided by spirit because I'm getting like there's a message, okay? I'm getting a message, some type of message. Some type of message here. Wow, okay. Vision. Y'all are thinking. Y'all are in real deal, like being guided energy. Okay. Strength. You got the strength to to see something all the way through. We got strength, which is Leo's energy. And we got success and fulfillment. So you want to be, oh, wow. You are trying to manifest exactly what it is that you want. So you already, you know what it is that you want. You see it clearly. Like, you... And are envisioning it in your mind to where it manifests into your future. Okay. This is a wish fulfillment. Okay. Wish fulfillment. And with the strength card, like I said, this is Leo's energy. But you know, we are in Leo season. We did just have the, we're in the Lion's Gate portal right now. So y'all are, about, I'm getting like, y'all getting ready to spring into action. Something here was forbidden though. Something here was forbidden. So maybe that's why you possibly are having to be so analytic and analyze and think of a way to approach the situation because something about it is forbidden. You've been listening. You've been listening to something like something that's giving you hope. Something has gave you some type of hope. And I feel like you're thinking about your approach. You're thinking about your approach. Morning, Cancer. Cancer Moon. Letting go. Self-worth. Okay, so you are you are have already either let something go. Or you're getting ready to let something go because you're putting yourself first with self-worth. This person or situation that you're dealing with, uh, it's like white and black, okay? It's like y'all are too different from each other. Um, this says differences and understanding, okay? We got understanding. Okay, so maybe you understand that things are extremely complicated, Okay, then we got High Priestess of, of Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is energy. And then we got the moon right here. Something is complicated here. But you understand it. You're, you're getting an understanding of it um, that you and this person or you in this situation is just like opposites. We got the black cat and the white cat right here. That's very symbolic. As well as self-worth. Self-worth was at the bottom of the deck. So you're choosing you. You're choosing yourself. You're deciding to let something go because you care about you more. Give me this four energy, like future energy. Cancer moon. We got love. High Priestess of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
fragment conclusion okay so a chapter is closing and a new chapter is beginning you're very confident we got confidence here oh a lot of lust a lot of um <laughs> a lot of sexual energy a lot of flirting a lot of just a lot of high intense um love thing going on here we got love and lust like somebody's lusting after you or you're lusting after someone you want somebody to be be like your play toy fulfillment and playful <laughs> you want to have some fun with this person i'm getting like you put you guys are are have let something go in the past. You let something go because you wanted to pick yourself first, and you were deciding to heal. Okay, remind you that this past energy was healing energy, a time for healing. So you took some time to heal. You was letting go of something that no longer serves you, and you put yourself first. Presently, you're still in that med you're in a meditative state. You're trying to see the bigger picture. Like, you have a vision in mind. You have a vision in, your, in mind, and you're letting your spirit guides and your angels um, um, guide you. Okay? And then you're going to be taking action moving forward into love. Okay? So, let's get some clarifiers. Cancer moon. Why is vision here? Why is vision here? The three of pentacles. See, yeah. See, you're looking at the bigger picture. There's something that you want to work towards. Something that you weren't ready for in the past. Okay, because we got the two of swords and the two of wands. Like, you aren't sure if you're ready, if you're fully prepared. We got you guys' this energy, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you're taking a serious approach, okay? Queen of Swords, you're taking a very serious approach here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Moon. <laughs> you guys' this energy, Pisces and Cancer. Why is the moon here? The temperance card. Sagittarius is energy. But there's something here about, like, you're balancing your emotions, okay? So you're taking time to balance out your emotions, your feelings. Like, you're, you've done the healing, and you feel more at ease and more balanced in your life. Okay, so that could be what you what you're working towards, okay? Like you're working towards more balance in your emotions, okay? Because this this could have been your energy here with the Knight of Swords. You could have been a little reckless and a little wild when it comes to your emotions, like kind of just like all over the place um and irrational. But there's definitely been some type of uh wake up call here with the judgment and then Cancer's energy, okay? I'm getting this forward movement. Lots of forward movement. And I feel like you're going into a more of more healthier place emotionally is what I'm getting as well. There's something here that you let go of. You've been waiting to let go of for a long time. The Four of Wands. This could be a marriage. Yep, a marriage here. With the Hierophants at the bottom of the deck. And the Four of Wands. So some of you let go of a live-in situation. Um, some of you could have let go of family members that there was a competition and uh, arguments and disagreements on. And was keeping you feeling stuck. Okay? You let go. You decided to let go. Okay? You decided to let this go. Why is the Four of Wands here? 
Yeah, chariot. <laughs> this has shown its face many times here. Okay, so you're moving forward. You're progressing. Okay, you feel like you took a risk. Okay, you took a risk. It was a big risk here with the seven of pentacles and the fool. Okay, you're thinking about whether it was worth the risk. Um, but this situation could have possibly left you really drained with the Ten of Wands. You really needed some time. You really needed some time to heal, okay, with the Four of Swords. You really needed that time because you felt like this situation was draining you, okay? So you you have come into your Magician energy here. And the Magician and the Ace of Wands, you're manifesting your desires, baby. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune. So things start to change. The wheel starts to spin and things are more so going in your favor, okay? So moving ahead to love, you're being bold when it comes to love. Like, your love life, you're willing to jump out there and take a chance in love now. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You got, you got people coming to give you offers. You got Romeo's. And Juliet's coming to coming into play in the near future. Okay, the Knight of Cups is very loving, caring energy. Like somebody who genuine, somebody that's genuine. Knight of Cups energy. Why is Knight of Cups here? Seven of Cups, I'm telling you, you got options. You got options on the table for new love. <laughs> Ace of Cups. You got the opportunity. You got an opportunity to choose whoever you want to choose. Like, you're going to have a multitude of options coming your way, okay? And you get to pick if you wanted a nine, four of cups. Because you see, you got three options right here. Somebody else holding their hand. Now, look, do you want this? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to stick with these three that I got right here, right now. Like, you got options. If you want it, it's yours, okay? If you want it, it's yours. All right. I like that reading. I feel like that was a dope read all right so if this message happens to resonate with you go ahead and hit that like button share with your family and your friends let me know what's going on in the comment section and i'll chat with y'all later